Hawaii's Hawaiian music collection has just grown. After thousands of musical pieces arrived from Canada and across our island home, the Hawaii State Archives is now one of the largest caretakers of Mele Hawaii, and they need your help. Kamakapili stopped by the archives to find out more. Music isn't just entertainment, but it serves as a means of archiving as well. All the voices of old, but also the stories of their time. Now, the Hawaii State Archives has just become a custodian of one of the largest collections of Hawaiian music in the entire world. So we're here at the Hawaii State Archives building to speak with Dr. Adam Jensen, who is the state archivist. Thank you very much for your time. Good You're sharing with me that these are over 20,000 pieces of music within these collections. How did you acquire all of this? Well, it really had to do with our mission. There was a collection in Toronto that needed a home. And because we are the public's archives, they wanted it available for scholarship to everybody everywhere. And Territorial Airwaves here in Honolulu was the same. Make it accessible to the people. As a state archivist, or as someone who's dealt with this realm for a while, how important and valuable is this? This is immensely valuable, because in archives, we tend to focus very heavily on written work. But Hawaii is such an oral tradition that these records, particularly the oldest ones, have mo'olelo that we don't have written down. They have manaleo speakers that can teach us so much about the language. So making these accessible to the people is, is going to be immensely valuable. Check this out. So this is an original Edison cylinder from 1915 playing the song Aloha Oi. I gotta say, my tutu was born in 1916. She just celebrated her 106th birthday. So it gives you an idea how old this is. Uh, let's see. And in our culture, music is a very important aspect. How can we learn about music from, I mean, you're saying that the oldest piece in this collection is from 1905. We're going to put it all online. Everything out of copyright will be freely accessible on our website. And else you can come into the archives to be able to listen to. I'm sure music has changed very dramatically, though, over the time. What could we learn by accessing these that could impact us today? Well, we're going to learn things about how did the instrument sound originally? What lyrics were spoken originally? What was the time signature and the tempos being used? With this now, what, what is it that you need? I mean, this is a lot to take care of. It's more than my staff can handle. We need help, both financially but more importantly, we need the community to help drive this project. So they will do the cleaning, the indexing, the digitization, and then give it back to the community. There have been over 70 boxes of music that the Hawaii State Archives has acquired so far. And you can imagine the help that's needed to clean and process all of that. So if you're interested in volunteering your time, or if you have any musical related items that you wish to donate to the Hawaii State Archives so they can improve their collection, visit our website, khon2.com, for all the information. Kamakopili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.